All right, just doing a quick video here on the AFR 220 cylinder heads. Uh, these are for the small block Chevys. Um, what I'm going to say is true for the 210s, the 227s, and maybe the 195s as well. The part number on these cylinder heads is the AFR 1065. So there's the AFR 220s, 23 degree cylinder head for a small block Chevy. What I'm seeing a lot of is the wrong head gasket used with these cylinder heads. Um, the one that I have on here right now is correct. This is a Cometic gasket that's what's well, called pocket board around the valve pockets. And if you look at that gasket, you'll notice this shape is actually egg-shaped. And what it actually is, is, is it's opened up bigger around the valve pockets. What happens when guys use the regular circle, kind of completely around, no egg shape to it or no pocket bore, is the head gasket hangs in the chamber right here. You can see this gasket gets real close, but it's perfect. It's not in the chamber at all. Same thing on this side. It's close, but not in the chamber at all. If you use a round bore gasket, it will hang in the chamber here and here. I can tell you a 4200 bore gasket will seal being a round bore, but it's not right and it's just barely sealing. So if you had, let's say, like a 4160 or 4165 bore gasket that was round, I don't think it would seal at all. And if it does, it's going to let loose at some point. Um, this is a 4165 bore gasket, and it is the proper pocket board, so it's opened up right around the valve pockets. But just wanted to show you guys this, and I see quite a few of these. And actually, how I stumbled upon this is I actually ordered the wrong gasket, oh, 10 years ago when I had my two tens. And I noticed it was hanging in the chamber right here and right here. So I got the correct gasket and figured it out. Well, it seems that a lot of people are having that same problem, only they're not catching it. Because I bought these heads used and I noticed it. It didn't cause them any problems because it was a 4200 bore. But man, was it on the ragged edge of causing problems. And then I've seen a few others um, just disassembling and reassembling engines that they had the wrong gaskets in as well. They had the round bore. Um, one did leak, and the other ones were the 4200 bore in their ceiling. But if that thing was making some serious power, it would definitely let loose. So just something to check and uh, make sure you get the right gaskets. These ones, I'll show you the part number here. They're the Cometic gaskets. Um, these specific ones are 75 thousandths thick for my compression. I know for a fact if you use this same part number with 066, that's 66 thousandths. I'm imagining if you say you put in a 51, that'd be a 51 thousandths, so on and so forth. These particular ones do have the steam holes for a 400 but they still would work for a small block Chevy, but just do your research there. Uh, Cometic offers a bunch of different gaskets that are pocket board. Um, sometimes they reference them as Vortex style pocket bore. It's the same thing. So just some notes for you guys and hopefully this helps some people. Thanks.